Let's say as a college kid, you borrowed some money from your mom. <laughs> we all did, right? And then, let's say you somehow managed to turn that borrowed money into more than 17,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries, making it the world's largest pizza chain? <laughs> well, that's exactly what happened to Dan and Frank Carney, founders of Pizza Hut. In 1958, motivated by the suggestion of some friends, the Carney brothers asked their mom for $600 to open a restaurant in Wichita. They wanted to try their hand at selling a growing phenomenon, pizza. They named it Pizza Hut, mostly because their sign only had room for eight letters. Business was fantastic. The pizza was amazing, and the service was friendly. Within six months, they opened another location. They opened their first franchise in Topeka, followed by another one in Aggieville, Kansas. Within the year, they had six restaurants. One of the early employees at the Wichita restaurant was Pro Football Hall of Fame coach Bill Parcells. He worked there as a student athlete while at Wichita State. He actually considered opening his own franchise location, but he opted to coach instead. I guess that worked out all right for him though. Pizza Pete served as the company's mascot and the company's logo. He was a cartoon man adorned in a mustache, a chef's hat, apron and a kerchief. The famous red roof logo was adopted in 1969. Speaking of that red roof, it was actually the brainchild of one of the Carney's fraternity brothers at Wichita State, Richard Burke. The brothers couldn't pay his upfront fee request. Instead, they offered Burke $100 per store that utilized his design. And while Pizza Hut has phased out many of those red roofs in favor of sleeker designs over the years, many old Pizza Huts have been repurposed into other businesses, restaurants, and even churches over the years, proudly keeping those historic red roofs on display. The Carney brothers sold their business to PepsiCo in 1977. They'd grown their locations to 4,000, and they were now a massive food chain. Frank stayed on as president until 1980. Yum Brands took over the reins in 1997. The first pizzas delivered were out of the Aggieville, Kansas location. The owner had the pizzas delivered on a three-wheel scooter to area bars to sell. Pizza delivery at the time was virtually unheard of. Pizza Hut set some other delivery records over the years. In what can only be described as a daring PR stunt, some Pizza Hut delivery men hiked six hours to deliver a pizza pie to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, the highest point in Africa. And as if that wasn't enough, in 2001, Pizza Hut delivered to space. That's right, a Russian astronaut received a pizza from a resupply rocket while serving on the International Space Station. Not only has Pizza Hut been providing sustenance for decades, they've been feeding minds too. Pizza Hut launched their reading program Book It in 1984, after President Ronald Reagan asked American businesses to get involved in education. Then Pizza Hut President Arthur Gunther met with Kansas educators to brainstorm ideas. The goal? Create lifelong readers by encouraging kids to read. The idea was simple. Reward students for reading books with prizes and pizza. Within a month, of the rollout, 7 million kids were participating, exceeding reading goals so that they could eat free pizza. 
President Reagan even wrote a thank you letter to the Book It organizers, saying, Your efforts give help and inspiration to many and strengthen our nation. I salute you. It's estimated that today, more than 14 million students participate across 37,000 schools each year. As Pizza Hut continued to grow, they eventually expanded internationally. Canada was the first country added in 1968. The first Pizza Hut opened in Russia in 1990. The most popular pizza there was the Moskva, topped with sardines, mackerel, tuna, salmon, and onions. Wow. Pizza Hut is in over 100 countries, including Armenia and Iceland. Tanzania was country number 100. Today, Pizza Hut serves over 1 million pizzas around the world each day. Each year, Pizza Hut uses a whopping 300 million pounds of cheese. The mozzarella stuffed crust, introduced in 1995, is Pizza Hut's best seller, and the Supreme, a Pizza Hut classic, remains a top seller too. That first Pizza Hut that opened in Wichita was moved to the campus of Wichita State, and it's now a museum that houses Pizza Hut memorabilia and history. What do you remember about your local Pizza Hut? Those iconic red plastic glasses? That butter crust served in that black pizza pan? Friday night family dinners? Proudly presenting your Book It coupon and receiving your very own personal pan pizza? The flowered glass light fixtures? Or the jukebox that played your favorite tunes? Pizza Hut, with its humble beginnings, is an American icon that red roof, that delicious taste. We are so glad Mrs. Carney loaned her boys some money back in the day to her dreamer sons. <laughs> Long live the hut. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.